Bray Wyatt recently sat down for a rare interview with WWE on Fox, and he gave a lot of insight to what was going on with his story. So we'll see what he had to say. We'll also check out what's going on with Austin Theory. As everyone knows, Bray Wyatt's 2021 release from WWE was one of the most shocking releases of all time. You're talking about a multiple-time former world champion, a fan-favorite superstar, one-of-a-kind storyteller, top merchandise seller, just suddenly released from the company out of nowhere. Bray Wyatt would remain away from the wrestling ring for the remainder of 2021 and mostly 2022, until he returned to WWE in early October. During that long period away from the ring for Bray Wyatt, there was non-stop rumblings about all the different promotions that were interested in his talents. Impact Wrestling was reportedly willing to give Bray Wyatt whatever was needed to sign him to their promotion. AEW was even in the running for Bray Wyatt at one point as well. No one thought he would actually return to WWE, especially so soon after his 2021 release. But that's exactly what happened. Bray Wyatt returned to the WWE with a whole new persona, story, and a new set of characters all around him. Well, during the interview with Fox, Bray Wyatt gave a little insight to what was going on, but was also very careful to not give away too much. Bray started by talking about his 2021 release from WWE. He said that he had opportunities to do several TV shows and movies and keep his career going in that new path. But he said he still felt broken and how there were a lot of people around him telling that he should still be a part of WWE. Bray explained that he didn't think he still had it at first, but it was thanks to those people who really pushed him and kept motivating him to go forward. Bray talked about the major loss of his best friend, Brody Lee, and another one of his college friends, Mark. Bray said that he took the loss of Brody Lee the hardest. He said that he feels like Brody's kids handled the loss better than he did for a long time there. He said that the throwback Hawaiian shirt Bray Wyatt wouldn't be the same without Brody Lee. There wouldn't have been no new version of that Bray Wyatt without Brody being in the picture. Bray Wyatt also addressed The Fiend. On WWE television, The Fiend has only been slightly referenced since Bray Wyatt returned. Uncle Howdy mentioned how Bray Wyatt sent The Fiend away after WrestleMania 37, but Bray is now telling a slightly different version of the story. Bray explained that he looks at this situation a bit differently. He says that The Fiend died that day at WrestleMania 37. That was The Fiend's final night. He said that The Fiend can never come back and how it's gone forever. Bray also dived into the meanings behind The Fiend character. He said that The Fiend just wasn't about a goof in a crazy mask. The Fiend represents real-life stories and experiences that happen to him in his personal life. Everything Bray Wyatt talks about, the stories he tells, and the characters in his story are all inspired by real-life stories and tragedies that he actually went through. Bray mentioned this same sort of idea when talking about the Uncle Howdy character. He had this to say about that topic, quote, I suffer from a diagnosis that I'm not going to share with people, and I like being the voice for people to see on a real basis instead of a cartoonish version. But Uncle Howdy and Bray and all these things, these are all real. They're based on moments and things that have really happened. Uncle Howdy, there's so much more to it than you think. It's not just so cut and dry. The spooky man in the background, there's more to it. There's complexities that you haven't got to see yet. There's things that I don't understand about it, and that's the beauty of it. It's going to grow organically, but the story of it, I don't even think has been told yet. Once you understand what it really is and where it came from in my childhood and who Howdy really is, it's much deeper than you think it is, than you would perceive it to be." End quote. So this really isn't a surprise to hear at all. Everyone knows that Bray Wyatt is a deep storyteller. And there's always a deeper reasoning behind everything that he shows to the audience. And it looks like that's the case here again with Uncle Howdy. Howdy just isn't meant to be a spooky new character in Bray Wyatt's story. Bray is saying that Howdy actually represents either an experience or a specific individual from his childhood. 
So maybe there was someone in his childhood that was a bad influence on him, showing him awful things. And that's what he used to create this new current story that we're seeing on WWE television right now between Bray Wyatt and Uncle Howdy. He said that this entire story right now comes from a very dark time in his life and how it would be way too much to even share that story. That's how terrifying it was. Bray is basically saying that we still don't know the entire story with Uncle Howdy. So it sounds like that WrestleMania rumor of a match happening between Howdy and Bray does sound realistic after all because it'll be the perfect opportunity for Uncle Howdy's character and story to be showcased even more heading into the biggest shows of the year. Bray also talked about the Raw 30 moment with The Undertaker. Bray said that what The Undertaker told him was powerful and unexpected, but how he'll never tell a soul what Undertaker actually said. It's staying between the both of them forever. So it was a great rare interview from Bray Wyatt. Even though we're several months into the story with Uncle Howdy, telling from Bray's comments, we haven't seen anything yet. There's still a lot to come for that story. Austin Theory and John Cena have been rumored to meet inside the ring for almost a full calendar year now, and everyone is still waiting to see if that match happens or not. Well, another small hint was recently thrown out there by Austin Theory on SmackDown. One of the very first things Austin Theory said was the quote of, The champ is here. Obviously, this is a quote that was made famous by John Cena. It was a big catchphrase of his. He used it every time he held a title, and even had it plastered all over his WWE merchandise as well. So Austin Theory using that line basically has a double meaning. Theory is currently United States Champion, so he does have the right to call himself the champ and say that line, but at the same time, he's obviously using it as a dig towards John Cena as well. Austin Theory has been dissing John Cena since spring 2020. They had a face-to-face -face moment during John Cena's return to Raw in summer 22, and that's been it. There's also been other little things, such as the WWE 2K23 trailer, which shows John Cena attacking Austin Theory while he was training. And it's been reported for a while now that there's a strong chance that John Cena will have a match at WrestleMania 39. And there's only a handful of realistic possible opponents for John Cena to face at WrestleMania. The most talked about options right now is either Logan Paul or Austin Theory. Both Paul and Theory have expressed their desires for a match with John Cena. Logan Paul said he was constantly messaging Triple H about putting him in the ring with John Cena, and Austin Theory has stated several times that he was the biggest John Cena fan growing up, so competing in a match with him was always a big goal of his. So it's a short list of possible opponents for John Cena, but Maybe 2023 is the year that we could finally see the Austin Theory versus John Cena match. Especially with Theory continuing to take jabs at John Cena, it just has to have a deeper meaning and purpose. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.